going to be really quick. You guys get an email from me every other Thursday uh, with the, you know, my pet project known as the Badger Beacon. If you guys ever have any general interest stories that you know would be of value to others, please share them with me. You all have my email address. Uh, some people always wonder, well, how come you only put photos of X Club in there? Well, because they're the ones that send me stuff. Okay, if you want to get your info out. Um, you know, about a great story or a team photo, uh, you know, send it to me. I'm more than happy to put it in there. Um, you know, we try to come up with story ideas that are of general interest to the 10,000 people that the Beacon gets emailed out to every other Thursday. Um, but we don't know about every 10,000 members, like what, what their interests are or what the club director thinks are good stories. So share them with me. I'm more than happy to include them. And it doesn't have to be the full story. If it's hey, this girl um, is recovering from leukemia, and now she's playing volleyball. He's gonna do research on that. We're gonna do, we'll do the backstory. We just need to know the topics. Yes. Um, use our website, use social, we use social media a lot. We're trying to post at least three times a day about various things going on, or reminders. So please make sure that you're following us on social media with Facebook, Twitter, Sarah does our Pinterest page. We recently also started doing more on Instagram. So, you know, get your, get, I'm asking you guys to relay this message to your members and coaches that, hey, we're out there, we're trying to share a message. We're trying to communicate the big complaint of the survey as much as possible. So please use us to uh, your advantage there. Um, handbooks is also one of the things that I got tapped with talking about here. We are in the process right now of updating all of our handbooks as we do every year. The Junior Club Director Handbook, the Tournament Director Handbook. We also have a beach manual that's online. Uh, so those three handbooks are obviously new dates and with Sarah's recent hire, new names are going into uh, the handbooks. But please use them as a reference tool. Um, they will save you phone calls and headaches of having to track down one of us you know, when you, when you do have questions. So those are currently being updated. Uh, they will probably be going live in the next couple weeks or so before the, you know, the, the registration season kicks off September 1st. Any questions? I'm sorry, we, we're trying to just make sure that we're staying on schedule, but are there any questions about the previous topics, Beacon, say, Sport, Coaching, Education, or the Summit? Yes. Are the trial time and procedures and dates on all posts on your website? Tryout times and, and commitment dates and everything have been updated. Yeah. Um, on the forms page of the website, everything that has been updated has a, a current date listed, so you'll be able to tell which are the current year documents. And we're still getting stuff from USA Volleyball. When we get that, they'll be updated. And just real quick, I did just look on my web point roster, and there is a column that says Safe Sport. And if the coach is Safe Sport certified, there is a Y by their name. So me clicking that button apparently does have some. Um, yes. Also, um, just want a quick reminder that we have Adidas out in the lobby as a vendor. Um, we forgot to mention this before. Um, stop by and see them. They were very gracious in providing um, lots of good uh, apparel for our three high performance program or high performance teams this summer. Um, they outfitted every player and every coach on the staff with some really nice gear. Um, and as a, a thank you, they're here. So stop by, see those are really nice people, and uh, I think they've got some kind of special promotion that they're giving away um, to the coaches. So um, stop by, see them, say hi, and uh, we definitely appreciate them having, having them here. Um, one last thing in our little section here is, we were invited to Oklahoma City, which is the home base of USA Sitting Volleyball. Now, if any of you have not seen Sitting Volleyball before, Google it. It's you're like, it's sitting volleyball. Uh, it's sitting volleyball and it's hard. Um, so USA Sitting Volleyball has received a grant from the VA, uh, federal VA, to further sitting volleyball, to get it out of the communities. Um, and so we have been invited as a, a part of the Wisconsin area. So it's us, it's the VA hospital, and then it's um, the Ability Center, which is going up in the, Walk um, sorry, the Wauwatosa area. And so we are um, looking for a club or clubs who are interested. Um, they would like it right now to be in the Milwaukee area because of the association with the VA in Milwaukee. Um, but anyone who is interested in, in helping with sitting or 
learning how sitting can impact your program. Um, I know we brought in a sitting national team athlete um, a few years ago and had clinics at the, at the Badger Region Championships. We're going to look at, into that this year with space um, to do that because it was hugely popular. And you're like, yeah, it's sitting. Well, how, how, how are all of my able-bodied athletes going to, to be able to use this? Has anybody ever been kicked out of a gym and not had a gym space to practice in? Do you have access to a cafeteria? You can do sitting volleyball in the cafeteria. You can work on hands, you can work on movement, communication, teamwork, things like that. And so it's not just for disabled people, it's for really anyone who plays volleyball. Um, one of the, the cap team captains of the sitting champions from the, the Open Championship is the, commissioner, is the director of the Florida region. He's 6'7", and able-bodied. And so it's not just for disabled people. So I just want to let you know that we are looking for clubs to, to help pursue this. Um, the sitting summit has been moved. I'm not quite sure when it's going to be now, but I just wanted to put it out there um, to let, yay, sitting summit! <laughs> Jim's apparently got some sitting level up on his phone. Um, but just you know, throwing it out there that um, this is. And uh, at the conclusion of this portion of the meetings, too, before the, the we are giving away, in addition to more volleyballs, we have nets on a string, which can be tied between two standards or stuff, set them at whatever height you want. Great for sitting volleyball. Any questions on anything the three of us just covered now? Because we're going to head into tournaments next, and I know you guys want that stuff. All right.